Hey Jags, your own culinary arts class run by Joey Jewels, this guy, is now selling a super awesome crafts, gifts, and recipe book. This book consists of seasonal favorites like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Just in time for the holidays. All proceeds go to the culinary program here at DV to help fund their many cooking endeavors throughout the year. Pick one up for only 10 bucks today by visiting the cooking room or ask any culinary student for more information. Get one for yourself, your mother, her mother, get it for your friend's mother. Buy one today. What's up, Jags? Aaron Martinez here with DVTV, bringing you the latest news about your school in the month of November 2013. Today is Tuesday the 19th, so let's get started. You just watched Nicole Andrews with DV Tunes, who's an incredible pianist here at Desert View. I'll take you now to DVHS events where we cover all the different activities going on around your campus. We'll take a look at the career fair, the health fair, and the ROTC field day, which went on last week. Then we'll kick it on over to sports where we watch an interview with the boys and girls soccer team coaches. Check out the action right now. What's up, Jags? It's Carlos from DVTV, and I'm filling in this broadcast to bring you an awesome event that went on in the last few weeks. First off, we have the ROTC Field Day, where our peers enrolled in the class got out and exercised with one another to have fun and celebrate the program and its benefits. Field Day for us, for seniors, isn't going so well because we're losing really badly. Next up, we have the Career Fair, where tons of different companies and groups had a presence to steer kids into the careers that follow being employed with them. And last, we had the health fair in which our school helped raise awareness about the joys of living a healthy and fit lifestyle. There was tons of things to see with the many students that attended, gaining knowledge about various topics along with trying out healthy alternative snacks to junk food. For all updates on events, stay tuned to DVTV. Next up, we have an interview with the Jaguar soccer coaches. How do you feel about the upcoming season? You know, it's really not a matter of feeling, it's a matter of preparing. They will have definitely gained a lot of skills, um, new experiences, a lot of conditioning, um, and for sure a new family. And because this sport, it's all about teamwork. I expect them to be cold because it's freezing. And no one really shows up unless we have a winning white record, so I expect them to be thin. Um, it would be nice if we had better participation from the crowd. I definitely expect and hope that um, you guys all come out and support your girls' soccer team, um, especially because it's a new program, new expectations are set out for the girls, so they'll be working their butts off, and um, definitely it'll show during games. I'm pretty direct with my team. I have really high expectations. I'm very demanding. And um, players aren't participating at the level I want them to. I'll just move them off to the side and let other people their shoes. Um, and, well, hopefully a lot of camaraderie, you know, everybody's on their own personal journey. Um, the journey of Desert Soccer has been pretty entertaining and a lot of fun, a lot of friendship. Hopefully wins are a byproduct of that. I think good grades are the most important byproduct of that. And 
and uh, the players having memories of, of having a positive experience with a lot of hard work. Show some love to your Jaguar soccer team and make sure to go to all of the games and show your school spirit. Next up, we'll visit Student Life here at DV, showing off your various academics and clubs going on at the school. First, we have interviews with some of our many artists here at Desert View. And then we'll have our very own Taylor Johnson, who teaches language here at the school, tell us about the Writing Center and how it's here to help you. Take a look at the campus life right here. Hi, I'm Ms. Johnson. I'm the director of our Desert View Writing Center. The Writing Center is a student-run center where student clients can come into the center and get help on their pieces of writing. So that means you could bring in an essay, a poem, um, anything really that you're interested in getting feedback on. One of the misconceptions about the Writing Center is that uh, we're here to help you edit your paper, meaning to fix all your grammatical mistakes. And that's not what we do at all. Instead, you have the opportunity to talk to um, a really good writer who's also really good at talking to kids and you get to just talk about your paper and a lot of students don't get a chance to really do that. Yeah, the Writing Center is one of the most beneficial things to this school and basically what we do is we help students become better writers by telling them tips and ideas on how to become better writers. Technically we give them ideas to further their understanding of how to become a better writer and the basic, the basic underline here is that we want to help you become a better writer by giving you these strategies and new ideas and tips and everything and just, just to make you become a better writer. And it's plain and simple and it's nothing tough and all you have to do is come down here and we're more than happy to help. I don't know if you guys know, but the, the think tank at the University of Arizona has a writing center as well. Um, you know, and that's a place where people can come in, bring their paper at the university and get help and feedback from a trained mentor. That's exactly what we do. Um, so our students here have this amazing opportunity to get help of a world-class quality that uh, you really only see at the university level. So we're enormously proud of what we do here. We feel that uh, the Writing Center is an asset that needs to continue. We've been here for seven years um, and, and we're going to keep going strong as long as uh, we're welcome here on campus. This week on Campus Canvas, we're featuring three unique artists who were featured at the Tucson Main Library Sci-Fi Art Contest. We talked with third place winner Sal Ortiz, Liliana Holt, and Joseph Ryan. I originally wanted to do just an evil horse because it's so science fiction, so when since I grew up in a farm area, I've always liked horses, and I always wanted to put a twist on them. But once I started drawing the horse piece, I realized that it looked more like a dragon, and so I thought, well, we might as well incorporate both. Well, I don't know any professional artists, but I would probably just have to say my stepdad, because he goes all out with all of his paintings and all of his drawings, and so and they're hung up all around the house, so I get to see them all the time, and I admire each one of them. I even ask him, "What? How did you do that? And, um, what? And, you know, inspi what inspired who?" And he explains it very well. Well, a couple of my friends told me what to do. A friend of mine told me to draw a wall from them, so I decided to do that and portal the game. Monster, little, just little monsters. Uh, I got that from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, it's called Legend Boot. Well, I always use the black sword. Well, it has a curse on it, so. Like, do you die? You always keep coming, coming back. Oh, 
The Writing Center is a great opportunity for students to get peer guidance with the many papers they have to write over the school year, like those pesky college admission essays. It's open every day during ECAP, so go get a pass from Ms. Johnson so you can go and get help that you might need. Now it's time for College Clash, where we pit two colleges together for you to decide who's the best. I'll take you down to Pima Community College and Phoenix Community College, two Arizona colleges squaring off in the ring. Let's watch it right now. Pima Community College was founded in 1969 by the votes of citizens in Pima County, while Phoenix College was established in 1920 and is one of the oldest community colleges in the country. Pima has a yearly enrollment of 33,000 compared to Phoenix's 11,000. Both schools focus primarily on health, though Pima has an excellent nursing program. It also holds strong programs in business and education. The average in-state tuition for both schools varies between $1,000 to $2,000. Well, if you're coming from out of state, Pima would be about $1,000 cheaper to attend per year. Both schools offer financial aid, scholarships, tutoring, and career planning, so stress shouldn't be a problem. Remember, community colleges are not four-year schools, and they aren't for everybody. If you're looking to get a certificate as a head start to your career, then a community college may be something to consider. If you're interested in either of those colleges, visit their websites on the links below. Remember to wear your IDs around the school and be kind and courteous to your peers. We'll throw some quick news out at you right now. November is Native American Heritage Appreciation and National Novel Writing Month, along with National Cancer and Alzheimer's Awareness. So celebrate and spread the word about those important topics going on in our lives. In sports, Savannah Imes, a runner here at DV, took six at state cross country. She was the fastest Tucson runner to make sure to congratulate her for representing our school and our student athletes. Today was the deadline for applications to be a Just Talk mentor. Just Talk is a news club starting up that lets students talk about their careers and academic and personal problems they may have. This allows for an experience talking to teens like you who have open ears and open hearts to listen to you and help guide you through any issue you may have. So stay tuned around the school for more information and to DVTV and all our different websites so you can stay up to date on the news going on here at Desert View. This has been Ari Martinez with DVTV, a Libby with an original Wellison Button sketch to play us out. Good. Are you tired of being a pathetic waste of body fat? Tired of getting tossed around like a potato sack in Idaho? Have you had enough of getting your lunch uppercutted out of your hands? Does this keep happening to you day after day? Are you done with everyone treating you like a pathetic scum of the earth piece of filthy waste you really are? Sick of coping with social anxiety? No more. The Swiss Army Box. Scientists have developed this revolutionary device to put an end to hilarious bullying everywhere. This box has built-in compartments for convenient storage. Built-in flashlight for your see-in-the-dark needs. Built-in trash can and basketball hoop, try to beat your friend's high score. Goal! Built-in cup holder for your baby bottle. Even a built-in TV that doubles as a microwave for your fatty needs. Even a new satellite dish. Play your favorite game with the PS3 option and impress your friends. Play your favorite tunes with the alarm clock and off-the-hook speakers that are MP3 compatible. This box turns you into a total stud and helps you get those average-looking ladies. Forget those fine-looking gentlemen, if that's what you're into, bro. I don't judge. Here are some reviews from our happy and satisfied customer. What is it? It's a piece of cardboard. The box is 100% cardboard and tape, making it completely recyclable in four states. FOUR STATES! The box fits 4x4 four four big ol' inches and is extremely lightweight, making it portably portable. Even carry the handicap when they need a hand, or two. Judges gave it a 10 out of 5. BoxCon said it mounts the face off pure awesomeness. USA Today gives us a 0. The box is compatible in... The desert. In a tree. Under a tree. 
in a pond, at the construction site, in the bathrooms for those heavy loads, even at the big game. It's a whole lot of fun for every and any occasion. Call now, and if lines are busy, please try again later. Hey guys, did you like the show? Well, hit that subscribe button and share it to all your friends. Like us on Facebook.com slash DesertViewTV. Subscribe at YouTube.com slash DesertViewTV. Follow us on Twitter at DesertViewTV. And follow us on Instagram at DesertViewTV. Have questions or concerns? Any requests? Well, email us at DesertViewTV at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.